Hello and welcome to highlights of the 10th and final stage of the Giro Donne. 90 and a half kilometers today from Abano Terme to Parabo. Just one Cat 3 climb early on in the day at Rovalon and then the intermediate sprint with 45.8 to go at Castello Cararesi. A couple of small lumps and bumps, but a flat, fast run to the finish. Everything pointed to a day for the sprinters. Anime van Vloet uh, was secure in the Malia Rosa going into the stage 152 over Marta Cavani and 610 over Mavi Garcia. It was Alessia Vigilia of Top Girls Fassa Bortolo and Krista Dobel Hickok of AF Education Tivco Silicon Valley Bank that did get clear. Inside 50k to go, they were holding an advantage of just over a minute. Van Vloet looking strong and secure for her third career Giro Donne general classification victory. Francesca Baroni of Aroma Italia and Anastasia Carmenari, the national champion of Latvia, did try and get clear but wouldn't make it up to our duo of leaders. Trek Segafredo, DSM and Movistar all keen to bring things down to a bunch sprint. Virgilia of the top girls, Vassa Bortolo rider that's been on the attack multiple times during this year's Giro was finishing the 10-day stage race strongly but her and Dovel Hickok would have have their work cut out to stay clear of a peloton that were looking to try and set things up for the sprinters. For Trek Segafredo, they had world champion Elisa Balsamo already two stage wins in this year's race, but sitting second in the Chiclamino points classification, 10 points down on Annemiek van Vloot, and if she could win the stage, she could secure that jersey. A breakaway held on just inside four and a half kilometers to go, but multiple teams were setting things up for their sprinters on a fast run in towards the finish. Through 1K to go, it was Canyon Shram that had the front, and Lotta Kopecky of ST Works in the World Tour leader's jersey was up there getting ready for the sprint. Jumbo Visma for Carline Swinkles, but it would be Raquelie Barbieri of Live Extra that launched herself to the line and over the top of her came the young Italian Chiara Consoni of Valcar Travel and Service to make it a 1-2 for Italy, but her first career Giro Donne stage victory. Big moment for the Valcar Travel and Service team. What a race they've had with Silvia Persico seventh overall, but Barbieri and Consoni finish the Giro Donne strongly with Emma Norsgaard of Movistar taking third. Balsamo had to settle for fourth and unfortunately not enough points to take the Chiclamino jersey. Bertilazolo, Swinkles, Capone all getting themselves up there in the top 10. Tenniel Campbell in 10th on the stage. Big moment for Annemiek van Vleuten and Team Movistar. On the podium ahead of Marta Cavalli and Mavi Garcia. They really did put on a show in this year's race. Neve Fisher-Black in 5th and Neve Bradbury in 10th. Two jerseys, Van Vleuten also takes the Chiclamino points jersey. Kristen Faulkner takes the Discovery Plus Queen of the Mountains jersey after two stage wins. Neve Fisher-Black for the second year in a row runs out the winner of the Best Young Riders classification and takes that white Eurosport jersey. FDJ, Nouvelle Aquitaine for Turoscope, your team champions. And now uh, attention turns to the Tour de France femme Avec Zwift, 24th to the 31st of July. Don't miss it.